Hello dear students, in this video we are going to learn mixed operations with fractions. So before we start, let's remember the bad mass rule, the order of operations, it's really important. So in the bad mass rule, the B for brackets, B for brackets, so E for exponents, E for exponents, and D for division, D for division, M for multiplication, and A for addition, and S for subtraction, S for subtraction. So what is the bad mass rule? So when you see an operation, a mixed fraction, or it doesn't matter, first thing you have to do is the brackets, okay? You do the operation inside the brackets. If there is no bracket, or if you are done with bracket, then you do the exponents. After that, you do the division or multiplication, if the division and multiplication, they are at the same level, you're going to do it from left to right, from left to right. And then you are doing addition or subtraction. Which one comes first? If they are at the same level, you are doing it from left to right. Okay. So addition and subtraction, if they're at the same level, you are doing them. You're doing that operation from left to right. Okay, then let's do a few examples and see what this is. Let's start with this example. So we have here a bracket. So first thing we have to do the bracket. Let me do bracket here. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 is equal to. I have to make the denominators equal. So I have to find the LCM of 3 and 4. Let me find it this here. Let me write the LCM of let me write the LCM of 3 and 4 here. LCM of 3 and 4 is equal to 12. So I have to make the denominators 12. How can I do that? So I have to multiply 3 by a number to get 12. So it is 4. 3 times 4 is 12 and 4 times 3 is 12. So I have to multiply these numbers by the numerators and the denominator. So 4 times 1 is 4 over 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 4 is 12 now we have the same denominators as you see so we can add the numerators so 4 plus 3 over 12 which is 7 over 12 so this expression here is 7 over 12 so now we are done with the bracket we continue solving the question Instead of 1, I can write 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 minus 7 over 12 is equal to. I have to make the denominators equal again because the denominators are not the same. 1, 2, and 12. So I have to find the LCM of 1, 2, and 12. So LCM of 1, 2, and 12 is equal to 12. So I have to make the denominators 12. 1 times what is 12? 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12 and 12 times 1 is 12. So 12 times 1 is 12 and 12 times 1 is 12. 1 over 1 is 12 over 12. So we multiply 6 by 1 and 2. 6 times 1 is 6 and 6 times 2 is 12. 7 over 12, the denominator is already 12, so 7 over 12 is equal to, now we have the same denominators, we are going to add the numerators, 12 plus 6 minus 7, 12 plus 6 minus 7 over 12. So now we have addition and subtraction at the same level, so we can do this from left to right. 12 plus 6 is equal to 18, 18, and 18 minus 7 is equal to 11. 11 over 12 is our answer. So this is our answer. I'm going to solve this question with another way. Let's see what we can do, what uh, other way we can, we can use with this example. So let me solve this problem using another way. 
So instead of 1, I'm going to write 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2. And I'm going to distribute this minus. Negative 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. All right, so the denominators are not the same as you see. We have to make them equal. How can we make them equal? We just find the LCM of 2, 3, and 4. Find the LCM of the denominators, and it is 12. So we should make the denominators 12. Let's try to make them 12. So 1 times what is 12? 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times what is 12? 2 times 6. 3 times 4 and 4 times what is 12? 4 times 3 is 12. Now we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So 12 times 1 and 12 times 1. We have 12 over 12. 12 over 12 is equal to 1. 6 times 1 plus 6 times 1 is 6 and 6 times 2 is 12. And we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4 here. 4 times 1 is 4. And 4 times 3 is 12. Finally, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3. 3 times 1 is 3 over 3 times 4 is 12. And so now we have the same denominator as you see. Now we can add these numerators. So we are going to write 12 plus 6 minus 4 minus 3. So now we have addition and subtraction at the same level so we should do it from left to right. 12 plus 6 is 18 and 18 minus 4 is equal to 14 and 14 minus 3 is 11. 11 over 12 is our answer for this problem. Okay so let's go on to the next one. Again, let's remember the order of operations. We do the brackets first. But in these kind of questions, if we have always pluses and minuses, you may consider distributing minus. Because as you see, we have 6 over 7 here and we have also 6 over 7. So 6 over 7 minus 6 over 7, we are going to get 0. So that's why the distributing minus will make easier. Okay, so let's... Let's write this expression 2 over 3 plus 4 over 5 plus 6 over 7 and distribute minus minus 6 over 7 and minus times plus is minus. So minus 4 over 5 and minus 5 over 3 is equal to. Now we can do grouping here. We can group the fractions with the same denominator. So 2 over 3 and minus 5 over 3. 2 over 3 minus 5 over 3. This is a group. So plus, let's write another group. We have written 2 over 3 and minus 5 over 3. So 4 over 5 and minus 4 over 5. 4 over 5 minus 4 over 5. These are the numbers with the same denominator. So we have written 4 over 5 and 4 over 5. Now we have another group 6 over 7 minus 6 over 7. So here we have the same denominator 3. So we are going to write 2 minus 5 in the numerator. Let's write 2 minus 5 in the numerator. So it is 2 minus 5 over 3 plus. 4 over 5 minus 4 over 5. These are exact same things, so it is going to be 0. Or 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 over 5 is also 0. Plus 6 minus 6 is 0. 0 over 7 is 0. Is equal to 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Negative 3 over 3. I don't have to write these zeros. So negative 3 over 3 is negative 1. This is our answer for this example. Negative 1 is the answer. Alright, this is another same kind of question. Please, you can 
pause the video and try to solve this. And then you can check your answer. So as you see, we have minus 2 over 3. And if I multiply minus by minus, I'm going to get plus 2 over 3. So it looks like distributing this minus will make our job easier. So let's write 2 over 5 minus 2 over 3 plus 1 over 7 minus 2. We are distributing this minus. I got minus 2 and minus times minus plus. So I will get plus 2 over 3 and minus times plus is minus. Minus times plus is minus. So I'll get minus 2 over 5. And I have another minus 8 over 7 here. Okay, so we can do the grouping again. Let's combine the numbers. Let's combine the fractions with the same denominator. I have 2 over 5 and I have minus 2 over 5. I'm going to write this fraction with the sign in front of it. So 2 over 5 minus 2 over 5. 2 over 5 minus 2 over 5. Plus minus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3. Minus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 plus. So we have written these. 1 over 7 and another fraction with the same denominator. 1 over 7 and negative 8 over 7. 1 over 7 minus 8 over 7. So and we are left with negative 2. Negative 2 minus 2. All right. So this is 0 because 2 over 5 minus 2 over 5, they're exactly the same fractions. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 over 5 is 0. And minus 2 over 5 plus 2 over 3, it is also 0. We can write this minus 2 over 3 as minus 2 over 3. Minus 2 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. So minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 over 3 is 0. Plus, what is 1 minus 8? 1 minus 8 is minus 7. Minus 7 over 7 and minus 2. So negative 7 over 7 is negative 1 minus 2. So finally, the result is going to be minus 3. This is our result for this example.